This is the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 24. And it reads, And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. This is the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 25. And it reads, And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akarkadash. Shalom. He's still going with the game. Mm. <laughs> they can cut it off today sometimes. Probably tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Mm hmm. I guess they're going to buy the pew. Yeah. He's still riding with the game. That's going on. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting my ass out of here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, she came on too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's why Bert went to the store and gave yeah, me one meal for that. Yeah, I'm not taking this no more. That shit be gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody got their milk, that's good. Oh, that's good. Right. Mm. Right. So, right, um, and this is the title of the lesson. It's uh, Mark 3 and 24 through Mark uh, verses 25. So, yeah, um, yeah, we're going to see a, a great division between nations. Hey, we're going to see a great division between nations that's close to one another. That's why we're seeing it increasing, especially with the Russia-Ukraine situation. Because, you know, these two nations that used to be part of the uh, Soviet, they used to be part of the USSR, you know. Now we're seeing that division between, now they separated between one another. Since 1992, you know, at the USSR, uh, divided and broke up, broke up the nations, you know. So, hey, we seeing that great division between, you know, the Ukrainians and the Russians, you know. So we definitely gonna continue to see prime examples of that of these. Thanks, bro. Let's lock it for that. I was talking to my brother. So yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, we're definitely going to continue to see more great examples of uh, nations are divided against one another. Because, you know, these nations are used to be close, close neighbors. North Korea and South Korea is a prime example. Because, you know, what they used to have the, the, the Korean War. You know, they've been divided against one another. Because at first, when I believe Donald Trump, former President Trump, was a uh, president and then I believe he had crossed the border from South Korea to North Korea and North Korea uh, South Korea uh, settled their differences after a long uh, division between one another now as of lately we see that division once again between North Korea and South Korea so that's a prime example that we are going to see uh, houses of divisions I mean houses of nations that used to be close uh, border allies with one another. Now they separate with one another as they being adversaries against one another. And we definitely seen that with the uh, Russian Ukraine situation and the uh, North Korea versus South Korea. And we see many other prime examples of that. Uh, Taiwan and China, prime example. And South China Sea got their own self governed island. China. Uh, the South China Sea, they got their own island, because you know uh, Taiwan used to be part of the mainland China, so they separated with one another, I believe, ever since 1949 because it was a commun communist war that occurred during that time, to make uh, Taiwan have its own separate governed island, so hey, those are prime examples that I just mentioned of those three uh, three scenarios 
of nations are, you know, divided between one another. As we read it again, go to the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand, right? So that's what we're seeing definitely over here in North America. Hey, we seeing uh, a the left versus the right, the liberals versus control, uh, the liberals versus conservative as a prime example. Not trying to get political or nothing like that, but those are prime examples that we are going to see. Uh, houses divided, kingdoms divided. Hey, it's going to be a time where uh, people are divided with their, within their own household as well, too. Within their communities, uh, neighbor against neighbor, brother against brother, you know, city against city, kingdom against kingdom, you know. And that's Isaiah 19 to 2. Like scripture says, I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, you know, Luke 12 and 51. Think not that I come to send peace on earth, nay, but rather division. Right, we're going to see an increasing of uh, houses divided kingdoms divided against one another and that's what we're seeing taking place in the world today you know in many different aspects from a uh, geopolitical perspective of division uh warlike intentions perspective economic divisions tension and many different aspects of tensions of the division as well too kingdoms divided uh houses divided so we can definitely going to continue to see that increase you know so those just are prime examples that I just mentioned that's currently taking place right now as we speak. Other kingdoms divided of one another and houses being divided as, as well too. So we're going to you know, continue, continue to see that increase. So this was just a quick sit down lesson that I want to bring out. The title of the lesson is the book of Mark chapter 3 verse 25. I mean the book of Mark chapter 3 verse 24 through verse 25. So with that. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shad, Ba'ashem, Makar Kadash, Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the Akin, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.